everyone, Full Spectrum RC here. Uh, gonna do a quick review on the Tico 3D printer. I backed this about a year ago off a of Kickstarter, and <coughs> at the time, it was this revolutionary product, a sub $200 3D printer that could do, uh, I think they were bragging for 0 0.05 microns. Now, about a year later, boom, I'm lucky enough to be in one of the first batches that got shipped, and here we go. I've got, I got my printer right around Christmas. I was super pumped. I was really excited, actually. It was a nice Christmas surprise, and <clears throat> I open it up, try to do my first print, and I get SOS signal. Uh... The one really good thing about Tico is I messaged the creators and within 24 hours they had actually replied to me and told me exactly what the problem was. Unfortunately, that meant I had to take apart the entire uh, machine. This is not what I was expecting. Uh, this, the, the whole premise behind the Tico was plug and play, ready to go, connect your Wi-Fi, start printing. Uh, that and kept in mind once I did take apart the Tico which turned out to be not too bad except for the extruder motor is extremely hard to get out and when I reassembled it admittedly I made a mistake and I didn't assemble it properly I misaligned the top uh, ring and the uh, extruder motor the extruder motor and the ring both actually have something on them to indicate how they're supposed to go together I missed it Anyways, got it back apart, put it back together again, got the, the problem fixed, which was just an ejected SD card and shipping, and wham bam, I started printing right away. Uh, highly recommend you update your firmware, the original stuff was crap and it wasn't working. Uh, even now in January, the firmware isn't super great, I'll admit that. Uh, I still can't print supports, which has actually caused me a lot of problems. It really limits what I can print right now, mostly because I don't have a whole lot of experience yet. I played around with Fusion 360. I got really good on ArtCam, if anybody know what's, knows what that is. Uh, and I've been playing around with uh, 123D Design 2, but <coughs> I don't know how to do any of it yet. So basically everything you see here, I printed off a Thingiverse. Uh, now, that being said, I cannot, I don't know how to use Cura or anything like that, so these guys who are slicing and dicing and doing all that, that is out of my realm. I, I, I bought this printer as a first printer, uh, and I am going into it to learn with this thing. Now, in that regard, I think I've succeeded so far. Uh, I didn't come into this totally blind, I do know enough about 3D printing. It was, it's been an interest of mine for almost 20 years, to be honest with you. About 20 years. Uh, when I first saw big companies doing this, and MakerBot specifically was on some night TV show, and I saw that this was a possibility when I was just a young kid. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. <laughs> so, here we are now, and I actually own one of these things and it's a it's a really interesting experience uh, <laughs> it's like living in the future a lot of people they they're really getting down on this machine when really uh, it is a 200 dollar machine that sits on your desk and prints things <laughs> it might not be perfect right now but i think they're making leaps and strides uh, I, I i'm really impressed with what i got and like I said, as a first time experience, uh, I'm, I'm considering myself lucky that I am kind of handy and I was able to take it apart and not really worry too much about it. If I ignore that fact, coming into it, I think I, I, I'm really impressed with what I got. Uh, there are still limitations. Uh, one of the problems I've noticed is, well, in this case, this is my fault once again, because I don't have the... Uh, Sports, this started shifting, and the machine itself, it doesn't have uh, like carbon fiber or steel arms on it, 
And what you'll see happening is if a blob occurs, it'll hit that blob and that will actually misalign your model. So be wary of this. You've got to kind of watch it. One of the things too I've noticed is with taller models, it tends to pull itself off its raft. I got lucky with this uh, group model here. He he turned out well twice actually. I gave one of them away. I don't have it anymore. But uh, he turned out really good. I was really happy with him. I I got re really good results at about 193 degrees right now, and one point or 0 0.1 millimeter layer height. I'm gonna show you guys a time lapse of this printing. It was. Uh, it turned out really, really nice. This is a little phone holder for my daughter. Uh, I have had a lot of failures, mostly I think due to uh, self-leveling. The self-leveling is not working perfect. It comes close, but it. I've noticed if I'm really interested in getting a good, good print, I have to level it myself manually. Uh, once again, I want to congratulate Tico. They, they're really good with their customer support. Uh, within 24 hours, they're, they're back to me every time. 24 hours, uh, any problem I've had, they've been able to explain it to me, tell me what to do. There is, uh, my filament was curling a little bit. They explained to me how to clear that. Uh, when the machine was giving me a hard time at first, they explained to me how to fix that, all within 24 hours. They're kind of local to me. I'm Canadian. They're Canadian. They're just young kids, just like I am, coming out of university uh, with kind of a dream. And I really like the way it all turned out in the end. Even though I had to wait a year, I, I'm really happy with what I got. And uh, just shout out to Tico. Keep it up, guys. Get the software working good. And uh, I'm sure you'll sell a million units. So I did have a failure, a major failure. I, uh, I'm half to blame and the way the extruder motors have to blame. What happened was I actually tore this cable today. If you see, I tore it right off of the thing there, trying to get it off. It was a little tight because I had a extruder jam. It just ground up the uh, filament and yeah now I ripped the cable but on the upside of all this Tico has a great warranty process I didn't realize how easy it was I went to click the part I needed I was at the point I was just gonna order it and it asked you to punch in your serial number you punch that in wham bam it it's done that's it you send them your information and they send you the part. Easy peasy. So, that's super awesome. I'm now just waiting on you.